Hello, welcome back to my bench. Today I just wanted to make a little short video to um, show you what I did and update the project on the CTCSS encoder for my old radio. If you remember, I've got this ICOM IC25A 20 watt pretty decent little radio. They're uh, kind of bulletproof, but they don't have CTCSS. So you can't get in into any of the repeaters that you want to get into. Well, if you watch the other videos, that's when I built this little guy. So I put it, I had it on the breadboard the last time you saw it. And uh, I put it, uh, put it in this little box that I 3D printed. Nice little box I got off of uh, Thingiverse. And it... Um, had everything inside that I needed uh, room for. There she blows. We've got a uh, 4.3 volt lithium ion battery. Our little Arduino Nano is down there. There's its plug for programming or running it. Uh, back here in the back corner, we've got a um, battery charging circuit down here that has its little hole back here for putting in your 5 volts on a micro uh, USB and up here we've got an on off switch little push button guy that just push on push off uh, here on this part we've got this is a little um, it, it's a divider resistive divider with uh, one pot in it so you can divide down and get the right level that you wanted the output. The output comes out through this uh, horribly tight uh, RCA jack here at the end of this wire. And it goes into this RCA jack that just pokes through the back end of the radio. And this thing's bent. I wonder how that happened. Okay. So, basically... Oh, and a switch, a toggle switch, momentary contact in both ways, up and down, for the uh, to go up and down. So, we turn her on. She comes up on 67. We can go down. She goes to 254.1. Up, 67, 69, 71, 74, 77, 79, 7, 82.5. Anyway, so there she goes, and now we're going to bring up a picture of the camera here. I don't know if you can see this. It's awful hard to see because it's the glare in here. Maybe I can give it some light. Ah, there we go. Give it some light. That'll help. A little bit. There we go. All right. And uh, that top number up there on the top, it says 136, 157, 149. That is the uh, PLL count. If we look over here, that's it'll count your PLL tones for you. And the bottom number is going to be power, wattage. So let's, uh, we've got it on. we got it on 82.5. We'll key her down. Got almost exactly 20 watts. And we got 82.6. Let's change it to something else. A common one is what? Uh, 123. 123, 122.9, 8, 123. There we go. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. And all in a nice little box. And stick stuck to the top of my radio. So now I can take this old radio, stick it in my car, and uh, just sort of leave it there. And I'm telling you what, if anybody steals this, they're going to be really depressed at how much they won't get for drug money. <laughs> it, it, uh, yeah, this won't bring much. There's a little hole in the front here that you can get to that adjustment for your... Reduce the level of your injection. So, 
anyhow, there we go. It's all built up. It's all done. It works like a champ. I'm happy with it. And it's portable. It's only, like, taped on the top here, so I can put it on something else or build up another one if I need it. I know you could get this thing down to super miniature and put a uh, put it inside of a radio. I'm sure it would fit. You could do that and uh, run it off the internals on the radio, but this one I can swap around if I want to. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to to uh, subscribe and ring that bell. And tell me what you think of this little box on top of this antique radio. Till next time.